Hey guys, it's Justin here, and today I've got the review for you of the Mophie Space Pack for the iPhone 5 and 5S. This product was first introduced earlier this year at CES and ultimately is able to solve two common problems that iPhone users may have. One being running out of storage on your phone, and the second one being the battery life, which as we know the iPhone just doesn't have the best battery life. But as you all know, Mophie being a company very well known for their battery case over the past years, decided to integrate both of these features into one case. This case comes in a 16 and 32 gigabyte option, with the 16 gigabyte option storing up to 8,000 additional photos, 7 hours of video, and 4,500 songs. Of course, with the 32 gigabyte doubling those figures. The battery itself is 1700 milliamp hours, allowing you to have up to 8 hours of additional talk time, 10 hours of video playback, and 40 hours of music playback. And should be able to charge the iPhone once from 0 to 100 no problem. And inside the packaging, of course you've got the case, and it looks pretty much identical to the Mophie Juice Pack Air. You've also got a micro USB cable for transferring data and charging up the case itself. An adapter that allows you to still access the headphone port while having the case on. And also your quick start guide and just some general information about the product. So like I mentioned, it does look really similar, if not almost the same, as the Mophie Juice Pack Air. It has a two-piece design and all you gotta do is just slide in your phone very easily and even with the glass screen protector it fits no problem and you just need to snap up the bottom and you are good to go. There is a battery indicator on the back, 25, 50, 75, and 100% indicators. And taking a look at the bottom piece, there's a 16GB etched in and there is also a small cutout for the speakers which actually directs it over to the front so you shouldn't have any degradation in that category. You have your micro USB port and also your headphone cutout. The case comes in at 0.63 of an inch and weighs in at 2.8 ounces. Of course with a case like this you do expect the trade off of additional bulk to your phone, however I do like the really streamlined design of this case, nice rounded edges and it still feels great in the hand. All the buttons are very tactile, I think they've done an amazing job in that category and it is available in a black and white variant. On the bottom like I mentioned, all you need to do is hit that button and it will bring up the battery indicator and you also have the on and off through the switch to the right. With the bottom, like I mentioned, having your micro USB port and also the cutout for the headphone jack. So in order to really take advantage of this case, I'm sure the reason why you're buying it is to be able to expand the storage of your phone, as that does come at an extra cost. You do have to download the app from the App Store, it is free, and you can see that they've done a very good job in the visual interface of it. I really like it when they go with the flat design, the colors, much reminiscent of iOS 7. It allows you to store photos, video, music, documents, other files, and it can also take pictures directly from the app. So in theory, it is a media app. It allows you to store files such as photos and videos, movies, music, documents onto the built-in storage of the space pack instead of having that take up the space on your physical phone storage, which a lot of times is taken up by apps. You're also given options such as the passcode lock and you can also put the storage to sleep after a certain number of minutes and when you open up the app again just tap the button on the back and it will turn it on so that pretty much just saves some power. You also have the option for camera sync and you can also update the firmware directly from the application. On the bottom they give you some overall information so again it gives it a very nice interface in terms of showing how much storage you have left or the battery power you have left. So now we're going to add some media and files onto the Mophie Space Pack and you can see that it is actually extremely easy. You just plug it into the micro USB port and it is pretty much just like adding media files, videos, photos onto your SD card or USB stick. So it is drag and drop, you pretty much can just go into iTunes, drag and drop any sort of files you may have, movies, music, stuff that would be normally taking up a lot of space on your phone and pretty much almost maxing out the storage, which is probably the reason why you're buying this case. But you're also able to drag files from anywhere else on your computer. In this case, I'm just going to dra drag a few thumbnails from a few videos on there. I'm pretty much just randomly dropping this for demonstration purposes. And you can also go into documents. And if you have any Word documents, some school homework, in my case, my socials project, I'm also just going to drag and drop that into the SD card. So let's see how it really sorts it out in the application. So now we're back. We've got our files transferred over to the Mophie Space Pack. And... I could see here that it has done a very good job in the sorting. It actually sorted it based on when I last opened it on my computer. And in the movies and videos, they sort it alphabetically. I'm sure you have options for that. And you can just play the movie directly from the Mophie Space Pack. So I find that very handy and a lot of people will be using this for that function as movies especially do take up quite a bit of space. 
Onto the music, you can also use this as your dedicated music player instead of having it stored in the native music app. It will again sort it pretty much in alphabetical order. You have all your options on the bottom. You can raise the volume and skip, that stuff like that. So it is pretty much a media player and here's just a Word document. And as you know, sometimes when you attach certain files as an attachment to emails, it does mess up the format. So that isn't at the app's fault. And here you can look at the all the files you have and sort them differently. And it also shows some of your recent files that you have opened for quick access. By tapping on the bottom, they also give you a nice pie chart that shows the breakdown of the storage you have used on the Mophie Space Pack. So I couldn't stress enough that they've done an amazing job in the overall interface of the application and I haven't had any bugs at all so far. So looking at the feel of the case, I think it definitely feels great in the hand, a very smooth finish to it, and the glossy plastic might be a little bit scratch prone, and in my opinion, I think that the white will be much better at hiding those scratches as opposed to the black one. But if you do own the Mophie Juice Pack Air, for example, this will feel pretty much the same. But overall, I had a great experience with this case, and I'm sure a lot of people have been looking for a product like this for quite a long time. Whether you have a 16 gigabyte iPhone and hope to expand the storage, or if you actually have a 64 gig iPhone and just need much more than that, but obviously Apple doesn't make a configuration higher than that, this product is going to be great for you. However, being the only product of its kind on the market, having the storage and the battery option, it is going to come at a very high price. Coming in at $150 for a 16 gig version and $180 for a 32 gig version, it is definitely a steep price for an iPhone accessory. Considering that the battery case will set you around $100 and you're paying anywhere from $50 to $80 for the extra storage. But you also gotta keep in mind that Apple charges $100 as you go through these storage options. So if you're already planning on buying a battery case, this could definitely be a good value if you don't mind storing some forms of media on a different place. Aside from that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in the next one.